Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be talking about the new Royal Mail click and drop portal. So this is something that I basically got, uh, well anyone who uses click and drop, uh, I assume in the UK, will have had this message on their uh, login page to, on the old website. It says, uh, this click and drop portal or this click and drop website is closing to make way for the new click and drop portal. Uh, this will be closing on the 30th of March 2018. I don't like sitting on problems. I don't like me you know messing about and letting problems build up. Anything I can do today, I will do it. So um, I sorted that out and got myself uh, logged into the new click and drop portal. And now I'm using this so that then I don't have to faff around on the in March or in, or in Feb or whatever, trying to mess about and, and open up an account then. I'd rather solve the problem and get it sorted now. So that's what I did. I wanted to give you a few of my thoughts on the new Click and Drop portal. I really like it. I do. I like it. There has been a little bit of a slowness to the website. Don't know whether that's to do with my computer or not. As you can see, I've got quite a lot of tabs open at the moment. And uh, it has been going slow the last few days, whilst I have been having quite a few tabs open. So it might not be that the website itself is slow, it might just be uh, the fact that I, you know, as I say, have uh, a lot of tabs open. So, um, yeah, without further ado, I'm not going to go off my dashboard. The only reason I'm not going to go off my dashboard is because then I'm at risk of uh, giving out like personal information of customers addresses, emails, that sort of stuff, and obviously I don't want to do any of that data protection act and all that sort of uh, bajingo, so I'm going to just stay on the uh, dashboard but sort of talk you through things, so um, yeah, really nice aesthetic look of the site, uh, really nice dashboard there as you can see, very very minimalist and simplistic, but it does exactly what it needs to do for a dashboard. You've got your new orders there. You've got your total, uh, you've got your orders dispatched today. And then you've got orders in the last seven days. I don't know whether there is any sort of settings to, um, to change that display at all in terms of, uh, the total orders over the last 30 days or the total orders over the last six months or whether it is just, uh, remaining the total orders that have been dispatched over the last seven days. I don't think you would particularly need to, um, you know, set it up so that then you could see the total orders of the span of the last 30 days. You don't really even need the, the seven day graph there, but it's nice to have. Um, so yeah, I, you know, that's, you know, it's nice simplistic dashboard. In terms of the one big thing that I'm going to talk about that I absolutely love and the reason I'm doing this video is on the old click and drop website. Uh, we were able to print and, per and, and pay for postage in batches of five, and it would only ever allow you to select five items at a time. Now, I was a little bit, uh, I wouldn't say worried, but um, certainly concerned that in quarter four, when I, you know, on a Monday or a Tuesday, when I've got a lot of parcels, well, let's say a Monday, when I've got a lot of parcels going out from a weekend, I'd have to do it in batches of five, so I'd have to... Um, obviously, purchase, uh, pay for the postage and the labels and generate the labels in batches of five. Um, so that means I would have to do them multiple, multiple times. Well, on this new portal, I've only tried it with 10 items. So I've not tried it with more than that, but I'm hoping that actually it's now you can select as many orders as you have. So say you have 30 orders going out on a Monday. Uh, you can come into your click and drop portal, you can then uh, obviously label, uh, generate the labels and all that sort of stuff and you, you and pay for, the, uh, pay for the postage for as many as you have, many orders as you have. As I say, I've tried this with about 9 or 10, so certainly they have eradicated that selecting order, uh, 5 orders at a time, um, but I've not tried it with more than 9 or 10, so whether the cutoff is 10 or not, I'm not sure, but Say you've got 30 items, if you were doing them in batches of 5, like the um, old click and drop website, it would mean you're doing it, doing it 6 times. Um, and then you have to go through the PayPal process 6 times, you have to generate the label 6 times. Well, if they've upgraded it to um, 
10 items as your maximum that you can select, then that helps me a lot anyway, because it means I'm only doing that process three times, but I do think they may have eradicated it altogether and now allow you to, uh, you know, purchase, uh, pay for the labels and stuff for as many orders as you have, which is really, really good. It just cuts down that time um, a little bit for you, and it means that you've got a little bit more time efficiency there. So, yeah, I really like the website. I've not really explored it loads. I mean, I've been on it, I don't know, like seven days, eight days, something like that. I can't quite remember. Not terribly long, though. I've not had a full uh, inspect of a website. The one thing that, the other thing that springs to mind is, on the old click and drop website, you could... Um, set it up so that then they automatically mark your items as dispatched and when you basically generate the labels and print them or buy and print them or whatever it will be uh, I don't know whether uh, yeah I think it was I think it was at that point in the process when you have uh, basically generated the label and you purchase the postage you could uh, sorry click and drop would automatically uh, go over to eBay and mark them as dispatched. At least that's what it did for me. Uh, I don't know about any anyone else, but that's what it did for me. Now, in the oh, it looks like the uh, web page is not responding because of how many tabs I've got open. Um, but with this one, you can select an option in your settings to mark things as dispatched, but you have to do it manually anyway of what I know so far. Now there's things on this website I'm not used to yet, so there may be a way to completely automate it, but what you do is you click in your settings, this mark as dispatched, um, on the click, sorry, it says mark as dispatched, uh, mark as dispatched in eBay, orders in eBay, um, once you have marked them as dispatched in the click and drop uh, portal. So, in other words, basically, you have to mark them as dispatched manually in the click and drop portal so that that will reflect on your eBay account. But you never ha used to have to do it manually, at least I didn't. It used to be an automated process once you have bought and printed the label. So, yeah, I'm not too sure about that. I I'm going to have to do some more uh, research into that on the site. Maybe there is a way of automating it completely like it was, uh, like it used to be. I suspect there is because I don't think we would have gone down because to me that's a bit of a downgrade on the site. Um, but I don't know, maybe maybe there isn't a way. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. You, uh, as far as I know, you get your usual discount, which isn't a lot. It's like, I think it's like 8 pence or 5 pence on a small parcel, second class. Um, but I'm quite happy with that, you know, it's, so I don't really care for the discounts too much because it's a very, uh, easy thing to do, click and drop, um, and, you know, I can just drop them off at the post office in my sack, so I'm not that bothered about the discount, for me it's more about the time efficiency, um, and that's why I started click and drop, so, um, yeah, basically, uh, what was I going to say, so, Basically, the fact that they've um, extended that being able to select more than five items at a time is perfect for me because it helps with that time efficiency even more. Um, I always think time is a lot more precious in business than... I, I, suppose, I wouldn't want to say it's more precious than money, but in a way it is, and I'm sure a lot of you will understand that. You know, if you've got more time on your hands, it means you can make more money ultimately. So even if you are paying for uh, to have that extra time, it might be worth paying, uh, you know, uh, sending out a cost to get more time back to then make more money in the process with that time. So in one respect, time, yes, it is more important than money. Um, it, you know, in a business, but in another respect, obviously, money is a they're, they're both the two, both time and money are the most important, I would say. But I definitely think you know, time is uh, one thing that a lot of people don't seem to factor in as much as they should do. So I'm always thinking of ways to get more time efficiency. Anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you for watching. It did a short video, and it probably turned into a 10 minute. -er. So um, I'll see you very soon, guys. Th I say thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, do drop a comment down below. Do you like the new click and drop portal? If you do, again, comment down below. Uh, let's have a chat about it in the comment section. As it says on the screen, 
please do hit that bell if uh, you haven't already to get notifications when I go live. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, check me out on Instagram at adsrobo96. So, yeah, see you very soon, guys.